Happy holidays, everyone! I'm Johanna. Today, I'm at Ashwood Creek, a subdivision of Pulte Homes in Naperville, Illinois, prepping for a holiday party. I want to surprise my guests with some elegant recipes using Aunt Nellie's pickled beets and Holland onions. So, let's get in the kitchen live! It's all about the holiday season, right? Everybody is looking for maybe some new recipes or how to revamp new ones. We're talking about here, these Holland onions, which I love so much. And I have my recipe for Holland onions and leek soup. Really, it's great for the holiday season. It's fancy, makes you look so gourmet, and it's really not that hard to make. And what's really great about these Holland onions is that it's perfect for stews and soups, just like this now. Because it's pickled, I didn't need to add any other vinegar or anything else, so it's cut down. So it cuts down the recipes, the ingredients in this dish, and it gives a really nice bite with a sherry wine. It is so good. And I'm gonna show you in just a quick second how to do that. So this is such a great savory, it's just so good, comforting. It's winter, it's cold out, and you want something when your guests come in for your holiday party, take their coats off, and they have this beautiful soup in front of them with a melty cheese and the crouton. And this is something that you could do even ahead of time, the day before. Our butter is nice and melted. I'm gonna put our leeks here. It's about one pound of leeks. So once the leeks are softened, you want them softened, you want them to go down, you know, it's gonna get, all the aromas and flavors are gonna come out. It's also good to add a little salt. You always wanna layer the flavors of this, a little pepper, and it's gonna help draw out the moisture. All right, so what we're gonna do now is add our Holland onions. Three cans drained. Now it seems like a lot, but we're trying to feed everybody. We're gonna add some flour, help thicken the soup. I always love a lot of garlic and everything. This is about three cloves. Me at home, four to five to six. <laughs> but you don't want it too garlicky for this because you really want to taste the onions, right? So about three to maximum five. Okay, so little secret here is a little bit of brown sugar. Now the Holland onions are pickled, but this really helps to cut through that and have the flavors come together. Now there's flour here already. Now we're gonna have some sherry wine, or you could do any white wine that you like. I like sherry. You wanna make sure that you cook off the alcohol. Perfect, perfect. I have a couple bay leaves. So then we're gonna add here, I have a 32 ounce box of beef stock. You could do vegetable stock. At home, chicken stock, beef stock, I really love the richness. We're gonna put the whole thing in here, the entire box. All right. We're gonna add now some thyme leaves. So I have the fresh. Instead of going crazy trying to pick it off the stem, <laughs> I just throw it in there. Just throw it in there. We're gonna let this simmer. Let it all cook together. Now this right here, the soup. Look at that, I'll show you. I'll show you how that looks. You see those onions right in there? Look at that. Oh, so perfect. And now I added some Parmesan cheese on top in a crouton. So go to the store, they already have it made for you. And you just put it on top, add some Parmesan cheese, put it in the broiler. Mmm. That's mine. Dibs on this one. So good. So good. And it's not overpowering, right? People think. Oh, onion soup, it's like too oniony. It's not. It's such a balance of flavors. I love that pop of like tartness from the onions. 
It's so good, and because we added a little bit of brown sugar, I mean, you don't even know that, it's, it's so delicious. This is a really, really good recipe for the holiday.